Let's bring Mark Bounds into the conversation. He was at a, a pretty good game tonight because he saw some good talent like he always sees with Timson. Mark, we're going to make you our Timson correspondent. All right, is that okay with you? <laughs> hey, that's fine with me. Coach T and I are buddies. Let's do it. What'd you see tonight with Timson and Jerry and, 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 and Bussy, Terry Bussy? <laughs> a lot of explosive offense uh, from uh, the Timpson Bears. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlight reel here. We got uh, the Timpson Bears uh, coming off of a uh, great win last week over Garrison facing the Corgan Camden Bulldogs and they would strike first uh, as on the 15 yard line right here. Terry Bussey he he would float this one to the corner of the end zone where he would find Amari Bruton uh, Bears going up seven to nothing taking the early lead. Corgan would try to answer by going deep uh, for the big uh, home run but they would come up short as uh, Braylon Parker would intercept it for the Timpson Bears. And on the very, very next play, <laughs> Terry Bussey says, hey, I want to go deep too. <laughs> and he launches it down to, uh, to uh, Chris Nickelberry. And this, uh, this kid's got some speed. Makes it into the end zone. And uh, the Bears are in total control. Um, they would score again right after that. Uh, another reception to Amari Bruton getting into the end zone. Um, you know, Michael, they would end up uh, with a 54 to nothing lead at the half. It was all Timpson tonight in Lufkin. Uh, they would go on to win it by a final score of 68 to seven. So yeah, the Timpson Bears moving on and advancing on to the next round of the high school football playoffs. As we continue to look at the highlights of the game you were just talking to us about, what is their depth situation? Because I mean, I, I know they're, they're a small school, but do they have a strong bench? Well, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because I was afraid to see this. Uh, Chris Nickelberry, who had a great night, he made the highlight reel there with that uh, unbelievable reception. Nickelberry is the backup to J.J. Garner. J.J. <laughs> Garner, the running back, he did not play tonight because he suffered an ankle injury last Friday in that game against Garrison. So. I'm going to go down to uh, Timpson and visit with the coach and find out exactly what his status is next week. Uh, we'll have that uh, definitely um, sometime next week in our in our sports at uh, either 10 o'clock or 6 o'clock. But uh, I'm going to get I'm going to get down there and find out uh, JJ's status and see what's going on because uh, you know he sat out tonight and um, they didn't need him tonight. But Michael, they're going to need him in the coming weeks. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll see if. Um, if he's going to get back uh, back into the game here very, very soon. And hopefully the answer is yes, but we'll find out. Well, you know, one thing about Timpson is, for instance, when Terry Bussey went down, Garner stepped up, and now we're talking about Nickelberry. So for sure, with their positions that were their skill position, they've got bodies. They, they've got personnel. And, you know, and the coach, he's pretty good in finding ways to adjust and, and, and making sure the team knows, hey, we're still in good shape. You've been around this coach for quite for you know quite a while. What's his what's his magic? What's his mojo in keeping these guys up even when their big guy is sitting down? Yeah, I mean uh, he just uh, he just has a knack of being able to motivate this team. They just really really get behind him. And uh, you know of course uh, you know talking about Coach Thurwanger over there in Simpson, he's just uh, he's just uh, he he. He's like your favorite grandpa. I, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. it I mean, the, the, they love the guy and um, they love to uh, they love to follow what he says and they listen to what he says and they uh, definitely execute what he says. And um, he's just uh, he's a great man. He's a great coach. I can't say enough about uh, Coach T over there in Timpson. <laughs> well, listen, Mark, thanks a lot. Good job again. You you know Timpson better than anybody else we have on the staff. So outstanding information. Get the 411 on Mr. Garner, because as you said, when you're in the playoffs, it's all hands on deck. Thanks a lot, my man. Appreciate it.